Today I'm going to be doing something that you don't see very often on this channel. I'm going to be reviewing a Bible for men today. So this is a recent release from Zondervan. This is the NIV Rooted, the NIV Bible for men. And I just recently reviewed the Flourish, which is the NIV Bible for women. So those would be a great option if you were looking for a gift for a husband and wife this Christmas or for your own spouse. Um, it would be nice to have these two Bibles to complement one another. So let's go ahead and talk about the Rooted Bible. So some of the features in this Bible, it is going to be the NIV translation. It is going to have 100 myth articles, which states a commonly accepted myth that the world tells you is true, then refutes the myth with the truth of God's word. There are also 50 get-to-know profiles, interesting information about men of the Bible. There are 200 rooted questions for growth, questions, and these are questions for personal reflection or small group study. 200 knowing God notes. This highlights an attribute of God as revealed in scripture. 300 think about notes, which are short teaching notes on different life topics. And then we're going to have articles to help men further their Bible study. Um, each book has an introduction. It's going to have a two color page design, a subject index, we have a satin ribbon marker, which you can see sticking out down here. And then we're going to have the NIV comfort print and the, the font size for this one is a 9.5, which is the same as the Flourish Bible for women. Oh, before I go on, let's go ahead and read a little bit about what this Bible's about too, just so you can get an idea of the purpose of the Bible before I go ahead and open it up. So it says a Bible for men that's focused on godly character and faithful living. As the world continues to rapidly change, it can be hard to hold on to your identity as a godly man. If you're struggling to find your place as a Christian, it helps to remember that while the expectations of the world seem ever-changing, the expectations that God has for you hold true. Rooted, the NIV Bible for Men strives to help you connect with your identity in Christ as it highlights biblical virtues that are still valued today. It emphasizes the character traits that men need to cultivate in today's world, like confidence rooted in inner strength, self-possessed dignity, and calm, kindness, joy, and leadership based in service. Drawing on the truths of Scripture, the resources in this Bible will motivate you to redeem your God-given passions, drives, and purposes so you can live out your faith. They will offer you knowledge, wisdom, and clarity to strive to become a godly man rooted in timeless virtues. Rooted, the NIV Bible for Men features exclusive Zondervan NIV comfort print for smooth reading. It just kind of talks about the translation and font, which are very nice. I'm going to go ahead and take off this um, dust jacket just because sometimes while I'm turning pages and holding up the Bible for you, it gets in the way. I really like the cover on this one. This is the hard cover. I believe there's also an imitation leather option in this as well. Um, so just check that out. There's some different cover options if you don't like this one, but I actually really like the look of this one. And then on the spine here, we're going to have um, New International Version, Rooted, the Bible for Men, and then NIV and Zondervan. As I said, we have one ribbon marker. There's no page gilding on this one. And the back is just kind of the same color scheme you see on the front. All right, we're going to have a paste down liner and presentation page. Table of contents. Then we have an introduction to the Rooted Bible for Men, just um, giving you some purpose for this Bible, how to use it and the different features that are available, how to use the myths feature, list of contributors, and then a preface to the NIV. And then we get into the Old Testament. So first it's going to give a little introduction to the books of Moses, which are the Pentateuch, the first five books of the Bible, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. And then we get right into Genesis. So you can see that there is a green color scheme in this. It's similar. It's a little bit darker, but it's pretty similar to uh, the Flourish Bible for Women, which I'll stop comparing them because I'm going to do a comparison video of both of those um, in a little bit here. But just they're, they're similar in that respect. And then for the book introduction, it is going to break it down into um, chapters and then a, a question that goes along with those chapters. So for example, um, chapter one, verse one through chapter two, verse two is how do we get here? Um, chapter two, verse four through verse 25 is men and women are from where? And then chapter three, verse one through verse 24 is how do we get into this mess, etc. 
it's also going to tell you author, date, audience, setting, um, verse to, verses to remember, and then a theme to consider. So each book is going to have a theme and a verse, a special verse that's highlighted. And then we see here that we have a double column layout for scripture, and it is a 9.5 size font. So it's very easy to read. Um, notes are probably a little bit smaller, maybe like a 9, but I don't think they're significantly smaller. They're still pretty easy to read, and I like the use of the green throughout. So the first one here is a knowing God, and it's talking about God as the creator. So I'll just read that so you can get a little idea of what some of these little sidebar notes look like. So it says the painted desert, the northern lights, the blue whale, the genetic codes that make up human DNA, the Milky Way. God brought them all into existence with a word from his mouth. You'd have to be a fool not to respect a creator with that kind of power. But what about his creation? Do you take time to think about just how incredible this world is? Does your self-esteem reflect the fact that you're one, one of a kind creation? Do you give other people the respect they deserve as the work of God? Here we have a think about, and this is about marriage. It is talking about um, ch Genesis chapter 2, verses 19 through 24. Talking about when you're married, 1 plus 1 equals 1, so you become 1. Here are some of the rooted questions for growth. So this is based on Genesis chapter 4, verses 1 through 12. And the questions you could do by yourself, and you could journal them. There's not a lot of room in this Bible to write, so you have to get a nice journal or a notebook of some sort for that, but you could also do it with a small group for a study as well. So the questions in this one are, when do you find yourself tempted to envy someone? What does envying others say about your trust in God? And what does envy do to your relationships? So I like how it's making you think about your own life and applying scripture um, to your own life. That's super important. You know, we want to read the Bible every day, but we also want to apply and use what we're reading as well. Okay, here's one of the myth and the truth articles. These are, this is one of my favorite features about this Bible and the Flourish Bible. Um, so this one says, spiritual maturity is a matter of how much God stuff you know. That's the myth. You get um, a real life story that supports how we might see that myth as we're out in the world every day. And then we have the truth on the other side, which refutes that myth using the word of God. We have a think about commitment another questions for growth and in this bible as well i don't know if, i don't think i mentioned it yet but the chapter numbers and the headings are in a nice green color as well make them stick out a little bit more and you can see there's a feature on almost every page um, but it's not it's not totally overwhelming like a study bible so if you wanted to use this more of a, a devotional bible or just something to you know, supplement what you're studying in a, with a different study book or Bible, this is a great option. It would also be really nice to do a read-through in this one as well. Here is a character profile, get to know Abraham, talks about his name change, um, poor decision-making, um, his lack of trust, just um, who's laughing now, like when, to, referencing when he and Sarah laughed when God told them that they were going to have a son at an old age, his not-so-blended family, how he's a Hall of Famer, which you can see that in Hebrews 11. And then just a popular guy just saying Jews and Muslims both consider Abraham to be a, the patriarch of their faith. And I like how at the end of a lot of these um, sidebars and articles, you get a, either a scripture reference to go to, to read more, or it will tell you, um, go to this page for the next article, the next set of questions, or the next um, He Is article. Next, knowing God, I think was the one we saw, yes. So this is knowing God as a judge, a bringer of joy. And then we have a another profile about Isaac. So you can see there's a lot in here while still not being super overwhelming or as much as a traditional study Bible. All right, let's jump ahead a little bit. Another myth and truth. This one is, I've hardly been sick a day in my life. Health-wise, I don't need to worry about anything. And then it gives you the truth from Scripture about that. Getting to know Job. Another myth article, men don't need professional help with mental health. 
I can do anything I put my mind to. So those are the myths, and then they're refuted by the truth. And I said this about the Flourish Bible as well. I like that these Bibles don't shy away from the hard issues because, you know, those topics might be hard to think about and read about, but we need to because that's what's going on in our world today. You know, whether we're going through something or someone we love is walking through something, it's good to have that scripture to be able to back up uh, what's going on, know what the Bible says about it so you can you know, help someone or help yourself uh, when you're going through something like that. So this is We Can Be Just Friends. Uh, think About Fulfillment, another Questions for Growth. God's plan for my life will always be clear. So again, those are all myths, and then it it refutes that myth with scripture and backs up, backs it up with scripture as to why that's not exactly true as people might think it is in the world today. All right, let's go ahead and jump back to the New Testament now. Okay, here we are in the New Testament, and you can see this is a black letter text, which I think was a good choice given that the color scheme is green throughout. I don't think that would have gone super well together. I also just like black letter text, but I think it was a good decision in this case. Let's go ahead and go to the end of the Bible now that we've seen examples throughout of most of the features that we talked about. A couple examples of each, I would say. All right, here we are in Revelation, so we're almost there. And I'll hold it up a little better once I get to the end of it here. All right, here we go. So at the end of the Bible, then, we are going to have a table of weights and measures, and then we're going to have a subject index. So for example, if you were looking for anxiety, uh, we have myths, myth articles about anxiety in Job 31. It gives you page numbers, and then a think about article about that. It gives you the scripture and page number for that. So if you're looking to do a topical study, it will be helpful to come back here, find your topic, and then you have your scripture to go with it and your extra features to read with it as well. All right. Skipped a little bit here. So let's go ahead and go back. All right, here we go. This is um, some reading plans. So you have included in here a 60 day overview of the Bible. We have 30 days through rooted questions for growth. 30 days with Jesus, and then 30 days through the myths. I really like that they include those 30 and 60 day plans because a lot of Bibles um, only have the Bible in a year plan, which don't get me wrong, I do pretty much every year. I love doing that, but it's nice to have some different shorter options as well to go through. And then we're gonna have an article, Being a Mentor and Finding a Mentor. Seek and Hide. So the, the whys and hows of Bible memorization. And then lasting change, how to experience growth in the spiritual life. And then we are at the end of our Bible. So this is a great Bible, I would say, for men. Um, obviously, I don't review a lot of men's Bibles, but I think this one would be a really nice option. Um, like I said, there's also the Flourish Bible for women, so you could get a husband and wife team Bibles to work through together. There's a lot of similarities, but there's also a lot of differences between them too. So I will come back and do a comparison video of both of those so you can see the difference. Um, but yeah, I think this would be a great Bible for a man to use in his devotional time or for a Bible read through or to just do a topical study on a different topic like you saw in that subject index. You can look up different topics and do a study based on that. It just has a lot of extra features that you can use and include in your daily reading and studying time. So again, this is the NIV Rooted, the NIV Bible for Men, and it is from Zondervan, and Zondervan did provide a copy of this Bible in return for an honest review.